everybody, and welcome back to Vera's Tea Channel. <laughs> and today I'm bringing you a great tea tasting of one of my all-time favorite teas, the Kusmi Prince Vladimir. So before we get started brewing our tea, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it, or at least how I came to know the Kusmi brand. So uh, a little while ago, a couple of years ago, my mom actually lived up in New Jersey and would commute into work uh, into New York uh, every morning and would have to go through the World Trade Center Mall. And she would exit out this door that brought her really close to this tea store, the Kusmi tea store. And <laughs> she would send me pictures of it and everything, and it just looked gorgeous, like I had to go there. So on my first visit to New York to see her, um, we actually made it a point of stopping there one day. And I'll tell you, it was like a kid in a candy store. Now, I have to say, this is in no way sponsored by Kuzmi. I'm not being paid to say this, but their store was gorgeous. <laughs> I like, I absolutely loved the feel of it. Um, it was very clean. A lot of it was very white, um, like white walls. They had some glass jars on the side. Um, they had this beautiful, like crystalline kind of like chandelier coming down the, coming down from the center. And on the ground, you had these like really glossy white and um, rainbow colored tiles. It was almost like a mosaic on the floor. And the teas, while the walls were all white, the teas were in these very vibrant tins, like this, <laughs> with these bright red labels, um, but every kind of tea was in a different colored tin, and it was like they were lined up to almost like make a rainbow across the back of the store, and when you're looking at it, that's all you could see. Uh, they had tea samples and things like that out. They served them in, in glass um, in glass teapots, if I remember correctly. It's been a couple of years. Uh, and the teas that they had out on sample were great. Uh, there was one that we tried, I believe, that was out that day called the Anastasia. Um, and it was another French, or not French, but it is a French company, but another Russian-inspired tea. And I, you know, I told her, I was like, you know, I really love this tea. And... So my mom and I started kind of exploring a little bit some of the black teas with some help from the associate who was there. And <clears throat> there was actually a flight of different, well, they had flights for the different kinds of tea, but there was specifically a flight for black, um, for black Russian teas, I wanna say. Um, and it came with like five of these little tiny tins. <laughs> Um, they're just adorable with just enough tea to like try each one a few times and really get a feel for whether or not you liked it And they had teas like of course the Anastasia was included which is one of the reasons why I purchased that particular set uh, But there was also the Troika the Prince Vladimir of course um, There was a tea called Paris and another tea Oh no, St. Petersburg That's right. Oh, sorry not Paris. It was the bouquet of flowers number 108 Sorry about that. So it is a, a French brand. So they have Paris written all over the front of their tins. They're super cute. Anyway, but uh, so I got to try it and I took it home and we tried every single one that day and fell in love with the Prince Vladimir. By far the best tea out of that entire set. Like the Anastasia was great. If I remember correctly, the Troika was another favorite. Um, Actually, the St. Petersburg wasn't bad either, but by far, Prince Vladimir was the best. So the Prince Vladimir tea is <clears throat> actually kind of like an Earl Grey. <laughs> um, it's, that's pretty much all it is. It's an Earl Grey, but with lemon, grapefruit, and vanilla and spice. Vanilla and spice with an Earl Grey flavor. It's delicious. It's one of my favorites. So I'm looking forward to showing this tea to you. Since then, obviously, I've been buying in bigger sizes. <laughs> While my mom was still living up in New Jersey, she used to send me a tin of it on my birthday each year. And I just, 
I, I loved it. <laughs> this one's almost gone, but I saved just enough for me to do this tea tasting with you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so now that I've preheated my water and I've gone ahead and put water in my teapot, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my tea. Now this particular tea, um, tea maker makes about 16 ounces of tea. I like mine a little bit stronger, especially when doing a tea tasting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in three teaspoons of tea. That's about one and a half teaspoons of tea per eight ounces of water. And the water temperature is 195 degrees. And we're gonna let that sit for three minutes. All right, so my tea timer just went off. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my tea, my tea strainer here. <clears throat> now I wanted there to be a place for me to put my tea leaves because I do rebrew. So I just have a cup here. I'm gonna go ahead and set those down. And I have my tea. <clears throat> I do actually have a teaspoon here. I always like to give my tea a good stir. Oh man, it's so aromatic. Amazing! I'm so excited. All right, so I have the leaves here for you, both dry and wet. Uh, one of the things I, I want you to notice is how when you kind of have them side by side like this, and even in the lighting, it it's almost like the dry leaves have a little bit of a greener tinge to them. And then of course, they're a little bit more red after brewing. And you can see the orange pieces uh, in both the wet and dry leaves. All right, I have my teapot here. Now the teapot that I used is actually, um, it's actually a little uh, tea service for one with Tivana. Uh, it was featured in the Oprah Chai gift set, I wanna say in 2017, 16, 17. Might have released the holiday season of 2016. I can't remember the exact timing, but uh, it was a tea for one set. I just happen to really like the spout on it, like it doesn't drip, so we're using that today. And then I'm also using, I have a lot of Tivana stuff, <laughs> so I'm also using one of the clear Tivana mugs, which, I, I mean, I love the glass mug for you. So. so, but it has a nice vibrant color, um, not too dark, not too light. It's not cloudy or anything like that. It's just a really brilliant brew. Uh, and when I smell it, mm, like the spice notes hit you first and you're ending on the smell of the bergamot. Like you're ending on the smell of those citrusy flavors. Oh, but in the spice notes is like, at the front it's like cinnamon and then almost Almost something, I mean, I know cinnamon's pretty warm, but there's like another spice underneath there. Mm, maybe nutmeg or something, I don't know. But it just, it smells really rich. So, all right, so now we have our tea. <sighs> so excited for this first sip, guys. Like, my mouth is watering. <laughs> All right, so here we go. When we uh, try a tea for the first time, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna do something called the slurp and swirl method. So you wanna slurp the tea <laughs> onto your taste bud so it has a chance to kind of bounce around. And then we're, I, I personally like to swirl it around your mouth so you get, once it's cooled down a bit, so you get um, a feel for what the body is like in your mouth, like what the weight is. So, bottoms up. <laughs> Mm. Still just a tad hot. All right, we'll go in for round two here. But even with just that one sip, like the spice notes are still left. And it's not like a chai, it's like a subtle hint of spice. Like warm, like a comfy blanket. That's <laughs> like, I know I'm biased because I really like this tea, but. That's kind of what it reminds me of, is just being all snuggled up and warm. And it's like a comforting spice, not, you know, chai spice. Sometimes chais can be pretty strong. Oh, man. 
and it makes a big difference to how like the water that you use um, I actually brewed a cup of this with tap water like boiled the other day because I was desperate and <laughs> um, it wasn't quite the same but today uh, in my Zoji Rushi water boiler uh, I and again I'm not paid to say that um, I love my Zoji Rushi uh, I actually have spring water so purified spring water and it makes the flavor so much crisper um, oh, so nice So just like with the smell, you you start with the spice, like the spice is really what you get first, and then you end on that citrus note. And it's and it's not overly bitter at all. Um, it's actually a really smooth flavor because you have that vanilla in there too that's kind of sweetening it up. So, and you get a little bit of a hint of that, but it's not overwhelmingly vanilla. It's not like drinking like a honey bush or anything like that. It does have it just, it's almost like just a little bit of sweetness, natural sweetness added to it. It's delicious. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to drink this whole cup now. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on this Thirsty Thursday for a tea tasting of our uh, Prince Vladimir tea. Uh, I know I'm really enjoying it. Glad I chose this one today. Uh, I do have a fun fact I want to leave you guys with. The Prince Vladimir Kusmi tea was actually created in honor of Vladimir the Great back in 1888. So it speaks to how experienced a, and uh, accomplished the Kusmi tea brand is that they're still around and creating great tea blends. So I've left some links down below for you, including a couple of easy links for the Prince Vladimir directly, as well as the tea sampler that I originally tried on my visit to New York. Uh, if you're not a loose leaf tea drinker, I know that's how we brewed this tea today. No worries. They do actually sell most of their teas in loose leaf and in tea bags. So definitely makes it accessible. Or if you're just looking for an easy, you know, something to carry around with you, those tea bags I know will, will save your life when you're in need of tea. <laughs> so don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tea Goddess Vera. I know I'd love to see some pictures or hear some comments about maybe your experiences with Kusmi, if there's a favorite tea that you love, or if you've never heard of Kusmi before, maybe a tea that you, you know, kind of tickled your fancy and you'd like me to try on a future episode. So uh, pick your poison. You can comment down below or hit me up on social media. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below so you know when that next video hits you on Saturday. All right. So thank you so much again for joining. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope you have a bountiful Thursday. <laughs>